All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning, family and friends. This is my colleague, Laurel Black Spotted Horse. Laurel, where are you from? I'm from Roseburg Reservation. Are you um, like from a specific community or just in general, you lived everywhere on Rosebud? Uh, St. Francis and Grass Mountain. Right on, God's country. Yes. Right on, yep, yep, the best. In between there. In I between live. there. <laughs> <laughs> so Laurel is the person who prepares all of our botanicals. She oversees the folks who um, uh, prepare like the sage, um, the everything really. The right now currently you're doing sweet leaf. You know, tell us a little bit about that. Well, they bring the sweet leaf leaf in. That's that's not really prepared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So so I have to go through it. Right, and pick out extra sticks, grass weeds, you know, anything that isn't actual, the actual flower part, because that's really the part that you're trying to get to that we resell to the customers. Yes, the flowers and leaves. Yes, yes. And uh, of course it smells fabulous when you go down there. Yes. So, yeah. What are some of your not favorite botanicals to work with? Uh, probably gum weed. Gum weed. <laughs> Is it really sticky? And, yes. Yes. I know um, mullein tea can be hard to work with too because it actually oh, yeah. has like little spines in it that kind of whittle their way into your flesh and can make you itch. So, but Laurel is also prepared for that. She has gloves, masks, you know. If she wanted to, we would get her a hospital gown. <laughs> so. But over the years, you've worked with older folks, younger folks. Do you feel like you've taught anybody anything about the integrity of putting botanicals together? I would say just the older. Yes, yeah. yeah. And um, have you learned anything new or recent about botanicals? Because you know our environment is changing. And so do you feel like the sage is more dry when it comes in, or easier to work with, or powdery, or? It depends on the ear, but it produces good sage or bad sage. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but you know, we're pretty proud of our wild crafters because it is hard, hot, um, filthy work, unless you're doing red willow, which is cold, bitter cold. And um, is there a favorite botanical that you like to work with? Um, they're all my favorite. <laughs> good. Well, that's good to know, you know, because I feel like if you have a positive feeling when you're doing your job, that that feeling spreads across, you know, in everything. Um, you know, if, if you were crabby and jamming stuff into a bag, I think that would show, don't you think? Yes. Yes, it would. So, have you enjoyed your time here at Prairie Edge? Oh, yes. How long have you been here? Uh, nine years. Wow, wow. So, um, who's your favorite person to work with besides me? Um, my favorite person probably would be Cole. Cole Fast, Fast Horse. Who, Cole is your other, right? Yes. And, uh, and he has the same level of integrity that you have when it comes to preparing all the botanicals and not just letting stuff go and and, uh, and calling people out for seeds and roots and things that you're not supposed to be harvesting. So, well, I should say gathering. Harvesting is different. Harvesting mm -hmm. is where, like wheat, when you harvest, you know, you grind everything up, you turn the soil, you know. When you're wild crafting, you're leaving the root system intact, you know, you're cutting, not pulling. So then that way it's sustainable and it comes back year after year. The root system is also healthier that way. It, it uh, sends messages to other plants, you know, time to sleep, time to grow, things like that. So, so and have you seen like a, in your nine years that you've been here, do you feel like you've improved that system of, of how it's gathered and then how it's prepared? Yes, I think I do. I think you do too. 
I feel like I would never want to have to answer to you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, do you have anything else to say about you know botanicals and and uh, your thoughts on on gathering and preparing? Well, I've been doing it for years. And there's some bad years and good years. But when the bad comes in, and I make sure it looks good. There you go. There you go. And then you also make sure and call out those people for doing bad. Yep. You know, and not being concerned with how they're doing it. And uh, and then that way, when our customers receive the finished product, it's something that they know has been um, dealt with with integrity. Right? Yep. Right on. Right on. So, Laurel. I super duper appreciate you sitting down with me today. Um, if you have anything else to say, say it. No? Nope? Okay. Thank you everyone for watching.